associate professor of the practice in the Department of Music at Duke, and co-founder of the Black New Blues Ensemble. In the 1990s, I was associated with the Richmond Symphony in Virginia. Bass clarinetist for that group, his name is Nicholas Lewis. He's now a member, in fact, co-founder of Black New Blues Ensemble. He and I just got together and we kept talking about whether or not music could be sort of loosened up from the grid of, of the written musical tradition because, in fact, the historical composers did not play everything on the page as it was written. I mean, Beethoven improvised his cadenzas for his concerti. So did Bach, so did Mozart. All of the great classical composers were great improvisers. So there's a little bit of the, the, the sort of loss of some of what I consider the life of music, which is spontaneity. Very often we'll come in with a set of melodies with, you know, your template of something strong sometimes. For instance, I was playing earlier, We Shall Overcome, the melody is. Our whole group knows that tunes as a group. Our interest would be if we could just change the rhythm just a little bit. do that once in the context of the group and the whole group will begin to embrace that and then it opens up into whatever each person brings to it harmony wise rhythm wise timbre wise which is the sound quality or the color of the instrument there is a, a an alternate space that sometimes involves us getting together and saying okay we're going to just start playing that, that happens. And I cannot even predict that the piece will end where it started. And I love it. I completely love that we have pieces that start in ways that are quite different from how they end. I measure excellence within our group based on what I know is the history of each performer's output. My cognizance of my collaborators' abilities, which I totally trust. Each of us is, is an individual fingerprint made up of everything that each of us has listened to up until today. That's part of the syntax and logic that works for that group, is that we have a base knowledge of what the traditions of music theory could be, but we also have a tendency to want to expand beyond that base, making it something that has not been heard that way before. We know that there's chaos in our world. We're transcending beyond the tendencies of, of, of chaotic culture as well. We're trying to refocus culture into clear moments in art. It doesn't matter whether you're in music or whether you're involved in forging public policy or whether you're a set of engineers trying to build a bridge. And all of the thumbprints of different experience and different perspectives will have to work in a way to forge this common document and that is the spirit of improvisation no matter what field you're in. It's totally important for any group you can see Anthony Kelly and the Black New Blues Ensemble display in a powerful way the creativity that occurs when people work improvisationally in teams. Often when teams are put together, 
We think that order, clarity, defined outcomes are the kinds of things that will lead to the success of a team working on a task. But in reality, it's when talented people come together, bringing the excellence of their own expertise, listening to each other, and then finding that creativity that we find the innovation and creative breakthrough that teams really want to achieve and which we desperately need. Research shows the significance of improvisation for team effectiveness and creative breakthroughs, as well as for organizational innovation. But it's equally important, the studies show, that we understand what improvisation is not in order to see the gifts of improvisation. In a recent study by Ducia Vera and Mary Karen, they show the importance of distinguishing improvisation from making it up as you go along. Improvisation involves rehearsal and training and practice, the excellence of the craft that Anthony Kelly and the Black New Blues Ensemble both articulate and embody. There are three very significant insights that emerge out of watching Anthony and his ensemble work together. The first is the importance of each of them being excellent at their craft. Anthony talks about how he trusts that each of them brings excellence to the work that they do with their own instrument or in their vocal performance. These are people who play in symphonies. He understands that they engage in rehearsal on their own regularly and they bring that excellence, that commitment to their craft to the team. A second key insight that emerges from watching Anthony and his ensemble work together is the importance of each of them playing their roles effectively. It's really critical that each of them brings a distinctive and complementary gift. If the pianist is trying to play too much of the bass part, then the bassist doesn't have a significant role to play. It's important that at times the piano stop so the clarinetist, so Nicholas Lewis, can go on his own riff, and then the pianist Anthony can play off of that, and beautiful music emerges. The complementarity of the roles is crucial to an effective team working. A third insight that emerges is the importance of listening to each other. It's important to listen to what's happening, the ways people are finding their own voice, their own creativity in their performance. Teams work improvisationally. When they come together with each person bringing their genuine excellence and the practice and rehearsal that cultivates that excellence. When each person knows their roles and how to appreciate the complementary and distinctive participation of everyone in the group. When people listen to each other creatively and play to each other's strengths. When all of these things come together, improvisation involves beautiful music occurring. Sometimes, as Anthony notes, that kind of creativity can take things in a direction that no one had anticipated. But when everybody is talented and committed, more often than not, you discover the exciting, unexpected outcomes that enable a team to discover the breakthrough innovations that they really are hoping for.